Hello and welcome to Battle for Slough. Although it's not Battle for Slough tonight, it's Battle for Luge. Luge, Luge, Lug, however you pronounce it. The Federals are not having it. Um, so that's the mission tonight. It's not too far from, um, it's only, I think it's only about 25 light years from um, um, uh, Shinatra Desra. So it's kind of in the core systems area. So hopefully those of you who are not already here can get here. But I know a lot of people have been um, joining in um, already with the community goal because there is a lot of money on offer. Um, anyway, we'll get into this in a second. First of all, welcome everybody. Um, thank you to my mods. Who have we got in? We've got Fiery Toad, I know. Mad Dog has just has been streaming since lunchtime, for goodness sake, and he's just uh, handed his channel over to me as well. Um, so, welcome to those of you who've come over from there. Uh, apparently, um, I need to demonstrate my battle, Banshee Cry, um, which I'm not going to do in the station because that's just weird and um you know yeah no it's, i'm not going to do it in in battle is when you will hear my battle cry um yeah those of you who've been following me on social media know that i've um been um uh, removing my kitchen from from existence in order to um have a new kitchen put in i'm not going to talk about decorating for the first 10 minutes like last time but i did just want to say because i haven't it is kind of i've got a green bottle because i can't remember where i put my green cup so that's why there's a random green bottle on the screen. That's kind of cool though, isn't it? Um, so yeah, and the other thing that we've been doing is we have been looking at wings. How excited is everyone that wings is in? Um, so for those of you who aren't regular players of the game or haven't played the game yet, wings is basically um, the latest um, update um, to the game, major update to the game, brought in uh, the ability to play cooperatively with three, four players, a team of four players. So you wing up, you can see each other's targets, you can see each other's sort of status in terms of shield and hull uh, integrity, um, and also you can very easily jump in and out of uh, super crews, um, in and out of ordinary and hyperspace, um, to be in the same instance with each other, which was one of the problems when you're playing, even though you play an open play, you could still, you know, be in the same sort of space as somebody. It's quite difficult if somebody gets interdicted to catch on to where they are um, in in real space. Um, and now with this, um, which you'll see tonight um, or today, um, Wings has fixed that because now we can play cooperatively. We also have a selfie stick. Um, well, I'm just going to jump into the game and um, and and show you some of the stuff that has been going on. Um, I'm all over the place today. I've got too many windows open. I'm like, oh, what's going on? Um, right, okay, so, um, for, oh, I don't suppose I can use the selfie stick inside, can I? Selfie stick? Oh, well, let's just, should we just make sure that Doris is here first? Hello, Doris? Oh, do you know what? Doris, wake up. I was in the middle of a defrag. <laughs> well, Hello, Doris. Hello, Doris. Oh, it's you again. Yes, Doris. How are you? Well, I was enjoying a defrag. Now I'm talking to you. So, the day is going downhill. Okay. So, Doris is uh, on form and ready, to, um, ready for action, I'm sure. I've lost my chat now, so I need to press that before I press that, because then the Java applet... Oh, you know why? Because I've not got it on windowed mode. So I I run a jar so I can see your chat on screen here. Um, I run a little um, Java applet which allows me to see the um, see the uh, see your chat on top of the game window. And in order to do that, I need to run it in um, windowed mode so that I can see um, so that you can pop out in front of me. Uh, so you can't see that, but I can now. So I can I can interact with you. Um, Okay, so who have we got in the house today? Um, Tech Geek Ten is um, new to the channel and new to playing with us as a team. And those of you who um, have already played um, with us will know that um, if you want to be in the same space as us um, in the game, then what you need to do is you need to apply to join this group, uh, Angel Rose and I will accept you and if you just let me know in chat that if, if you're waiting for an accept I'll accept you and then you can now play 
in game when you go to um, your your um, start it'll say do you want to play uh, in solo in open or in a private group click a, a private group choose my group bang bish bash bosh you are in the same space as us uh, bear in mind though that there is only 32 uh, players in an instance and then you'll be um, born in a different instance so if there's more than 32 of us how many have we got we've already got 118 people in the channel uh, Mexican wave doesn't quite work on Twitch channel, does it? Um, it? Yes. So, you know, obviously only 32 people will be physically in the same space. But we'll, we'll do wing-wagging wing, wing waggling and all sorts of things later on. It's very exciting. <laughs> all this technology available to us. And I'm excited about waggling of wings. Um, so, we are in Luge. Uh, is it Luge? Lug? Lug? Whatever. Hey, there you go. <laughs> You're actually doing a Mexican wave. Woo Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you for playing that game. Um, so I headed over to Luge after Luge Luge. What are we going to call it? Lug. Luge. Lug. Luge. Luge. Um, we'll call it Luge. Um, I'm going to call it something different every time I say it, no doubt. Um, and if you head over here, you can pick up. Now there is. Oh well, let's look at the news uh, bulletin board first, actually, and you'll see. Um, see um, sorry, the Galnet news story. You will see that there is. Um, where was it? Uh, here we are. Crimson State Group needs you. So this is. The, you can pick the federal side if you want, but I'm fighting against the federals for uh, independence. And this is the, um, uh, there's a couple of missions here. Um, one of them is a, to collect military um, plans um, by um, uh, by ambushing uh, convoys that are trying to uh, transport them for the Federation. Um, and so you can, you can, you can um, jump into a, a convoy zone, which is like a comp combat zone. We may have a look at that later on. Um, the one that we're actually looking at was the... Da, 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 da. Which one is it? Here we are. Federation inflicts terror on Luge. So I read this and I was like, my goodness me, we've got to stop them. So what you need to do is you need to head over to um, fight off the Feder Federation. Head over to Bal Balandin Gateway. Now if you want to fight the Feds, uh, fight for the Feds, then there's another space station in this system um, in Luge that you can do that. Um, but we are fighting. And do bear in mind, you are very welcome to be a federal sympathiser in my group. But if I see you in a conflict zone and you're on the opposite side to me, um, I will explodify you at the first opportunity, um, as the rules of the game uh, imply. So, there you are. As long as you know. No hard feelings. If you don't want to be explodified, either play in a separate instance or, um, you know, I mean, you may very well explodify me. I realise that is also the case. Um, but basically, um, yeah, this is a war and war gets messy. So, and people die. It's just, you know, it's the way it is. And that people may be you, maybe me as well. Um, so I picked up the, I don't know what I'm talking about. I picked up the Spear of Lug, which is the, um, uh, the, um, the 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 mission for the combat mission, and we are supporting the Crimson State Group, and the aim is to go into the conflict zone. So you pick this mission up, you go into the conflict zone, you sign up with the side, um, and then you uh, just kill stuff, <laughs> basically. And look at that, me top forty percent. I was doing this last night. I was out with uh, Scotty and Psycho Bolt um, in a in a wing. Um, so here we are. This is the situation that we got at the moment now. Um, uh, and there is another, there's a trade mission here, and I think those of you who are on Mad Dog's um, uh, um, uh, stream earlier were looking at him doing the trade mission. I think this is the one where you've got to collect, you've got to go and get guns, buy guns and, and bring them back. So if you've got a good trade, um, you know, sort of trade bucket, then you can, um, like a T7 or something, then you can come and do this. Um, I haven't, I may well pick it up though, actually. I think I had already picked it up. I might do some of that later, but I'm in a, in a fighty mood at the moment. Don't know why. Um, I think it's something to do with having my kitchen done, and that's been quite stressful. And this is quite a good de-stressor. Um, so, and that's basically what we're going to do tonight. And what I want to do, um, you can see here, and I've got the other ones from the other uh, mission as well. But yeah, look at the look at the rewards. 
check that bad boy out. 10 million, 10, we think they may have put an extra naught on by accident. Because it's not a lot more than normal. Seems like an awful lot of money. Um, it goes from 70,000 credits to 5 million credits, 10 million credits to 12 and a half. Seems like a lot of money, right? Um, Battle for Slough. I have che Oh, yeah, sorry. That's entirely my fault. I have not switched off. I told you, I'm not really... My head's in a strange place today. There you go. That's better, isn't it? Um... Sorry about that. You can just, you know, shout. Are the levels okay? Does everything sound okay as well? That's that's another thing that may... I've been messing around with the... Um... Yeah, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Twas my fault. Ah, oh, welcome Barry. Barry's here. Barry's my other mod. So, Barry and Fiery Toad are our mods tonight. Um, you can mm, recognise them by the green stabby kind of icon. Um, with that, they will poke you if you behave badly. So keep your language clean, keep your um, banter friendly. Um, please do not link anything unless you've got permission to link something. Um, and make it good and interesting and, and useful only, please. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I was just about how, how, how am I today? I'm fine, Katie Cat. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for asking. I'm very fine. Um, yes, okay, so basically the deal is, um, here's the deal. I was messing around yesterday with a couple of fellas, um, Commander Scotty and Cy Cobalt, and they are both in um, the, um, uh, with the me. Hey, I'm talking, hey, Scotty. It'll be okay. Scotty. Sure up, a, sure up a second. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise you guys were chatting. Right, I'm just unmuting you now. Um, so basically, I'm in um, uh, TeamSpeak with Scotty. Say hello. Hello. And Cy Cobalt. Hi, everyone. So if you remember, Cy Cobalt was our, our first winner of the Demolition Derby, uh, the Sidewinder Demolition Derby, of which we haven't had another one, actually, yet. We must do that soon. Um, and so we are in... Um, uh, we are in TeamSpeak, and we are going to wing up a wing of uh, three, and we're going to go to do some pew-pew, killy things, um, and we've sort of got quite a good system um, going, whereby um, uh, Scotty's got some really good... He, he we Basically, me and Scott are both in ASPs, and I'll just get, jump back into uh, the game so you can see. Uh, me and Scotty are both in ASPs. I'm going to leave my chat open for you guys um, on, on the on the um, channel, right? So I hope tell tell me if it gets annoying and you want me to turn turn myself off on um, Teamspeak. Um, yeah, no problem. So yeah, let's go into outfitting. As you can see, I've got uh, on my um, number twos. I've gone for multi cannons. And um, I basically got four multi cannons and two beam lasers on um, my um, smaller hard points. Um, Scotty's got two beam lasers on his um, uh, on his uh, medium hard points. Um, so he takes the shields down, and I go in and um, empty a load of bullets into them, uh, their hull, and um, make them go boom. Uh, and um, we were kind of using coast. Psy Cobalt as bait yesterday in his <laughs> <laughs> in his little cobra sort of like go and go and shoot something go and go and shoot that anaconda and then bring it back out here for us will you so that works quite well as well um so Good he's to know I've got skills <laughs> so Psy Cobalt in his in his cobra is bait and he's also got a big gun now as well haven't you what did you get I got a real gun but I'm not sure it's going to work out <laughs> okay so he might step in at the at the end to um to 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 finish things off with a railgun, um but nevertheless, what using him to sort of throw him into the melee and bring bring out the targets for us works quite well as well. So we'll do a bit more of that. Um, so we've basically got room for one more in our little merry band. Um, you will need to be on Teamspeak, and you can pop along to um uh, to Scotty's Teamspeak server because we're doing it on Teamspeak because this, the audio is just a lot better than the internal game um, audio. So anybody, the first person I see shouts up um, in the channel who is willing to come onto TeamSpeak, willing and able to come onto TeamSpeak and join our merry band uh, and um, come do pew pew with us 
then um, you are in. And the first person I see, I'm going to keep looking at the chat screen here to see who is the first person who volunteers themselves to, um, you can, so Stevie B941 says, um, me, does that mean, does that mean you want to be, Stevie B, does that mean you want to be the person, the other, the other person in our, our, um, in our wing? I'm presuming it does. Right, okay, so, let's, um, <laughs> too many windows open, I don't know what I'm doing. Right, let's, let's, um, let's, all right, got to try and figure out how to do this now. So I've got to try and remember. So here we are. So I'm going to wing up with Scotty and Psycho, oh, hang on, no, that wasn't what I meant to do. And Psychobot and who was it who is... CVB, CVB, you're not even in, are you in the area? Where are you, CVB? Yeah, and somebody who needs, somebody who's here already, sorry, CVB, maybe we can drop you in later. Um, out of Commander Dirk Verbeek, Commander Holy Moly, Commander Millstone Barn, Commander Rusty Swords, Commander Stuart Forgey, Commander Vulture, out of you five, six, <laughs> oh, Vulture, it's just a Vulture, it's not a Commander Vulture. So out of you five, who is already in the, the vicinity? Which one of you would like to join us to go pew pew? Um, I will go and check in a moment the people who want to join the groups. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, I'll go and do that now. Um, somebody's just shouting um, shout in the chat in caps locks or something that you are in the area and you would like to be part of our wing. It's taking an awful lot to get going, isn't it? I'm just going to go and get some people who are waiting to join the wing. There we are, to join the group, anyway. Um, bah, 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 bah. No team speak from Rusty Swords. I'm the vulture, <laughs> says Rasharona. Um, Commander Franton is just installing team speak now. So, oh, no, don't want to do that. I keep doing that. I keep going save and exit accidentally. So shall we see if we if Commander bring someone in with a vulture? Who's up for it? Commander Franton's up for it. I've just seen Commander Franton. Dun, dun, dun. Why are you not? You're not in my list of locals. You need to be local. Right. <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody sitting on the naughty step. Some, I don't know what happened, but somebody sitting on the naughty step to cool down. Um, right. Okay. Let us. Rasharon, have you got, so who's in TeamSpeak? Who's coming on to TeamSpeak? Um, oh, I don't know what's the best way, way to handle this, Scotty. Shall I just put your, um... You Rasha... Yeah, Rasharona, oh, have... can you send them their address, though? Because people will see it on my screen if, if I send it. Sure, I Maybe. Can Give me a name. Um, Rasha, are you, have you got TeamSpeak? Da, 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 da. Oh, Millstone Barn. Millstone Barn, are you are you in oh Commander Dahl is in the local area as well now? Well I'll tell you what, let me see. I'm I'm gonna get out. Um if you guys can um maybe have a quick chat, um Scotty, if you could just uh, keep an eye on the chat channel for a second while I get out of um of dock and see who is saying who is able to come and join us on um just check that i've yes refueled and everything see who's able to come and join us i think probably the first person who joins us on um the um on the channel on the um team speak that 
has is in the vicinity. Mm. Commander Franton is saying, what's the address? Maybe you could let Commander Franton know um, what the address is. Um, I can't see him local at the moment. All oh, right, okay, hang on a second. Um, Commander Franton, you need to get your, get your asp <laughs> over. You can all look at my asp, by the way, with, with impunity now. Um, shall we go, Doris? I'd rather take a bath with a toaster, but I don't suppose that's an option. <laughs> no, not really. Um, <laughs> uh, retreat. Retreat. It's my power balance. Um, okay, I'm just going to run outside. We'll do some wing waggling. And we'll see who is in the vicinity who might want to join us on TeamSpeak. Hello, Commander Lennon. Nice to see you in your vulture. There's a lot of vultures around here today, isn't there? Right, I'm going to back up. Commander Millstone Barn. Let's get my Commander Millstone Barn in. He is in the area as well. So, and now he's in our group. Um, can you turn your, your in-game... Yeah. Um, I got him, I'll turn the address. Millstone Barn. Oh, okay, I'll mute you. He's got his microphone on and... Um, it's just a, a bit of a randomly horrible noise. Um, who's that? Getting his vulture up in my face. Come on, Arasha. There he is. It's a nice looking ship, isn't it? So, this is the thing as well. Selfie stick. Selfie stick. I live to serve. So, we've got the um, debug camera mode now. So this is me in my lovely shiny new asp. Yes, you can all make jokes about my asp as much as you like. You have complete permission to do so. Um, and then we can take um, take a picture. I look forward to seeing it on Instagram. <gasps> so, selfie stick. Selfie stick. I live to serve. Good. Okay, have we got Millstone Barn in um, team chit ch chat yet? Um, he's got the address. Just waiting for him to come in. Cool. I shall do my customary wing waggle. Who have we got in the wings today? Holy moly is there in a nice yellow cobra. Somebody hogging my windscreen. Commander Rasha. Hogging my windscreen. Commander Millstone Barn is in our group. Um, that is Commander Scotty. There is Commander Dala. Over here, and his kind of rusty swords, also in a vulture. People are enjoying the new vulture, it seems. Um, Commander Millstone Barn, there's quite a lot of you around. Commander Asher, there again. Commander Side Cobalt, in his little our bait, as we like to call him. <laughs> little worm on our hook. And uh, Dirk Verbeek, there as well. So, very good. Let us see. How are we doing with Millstone Barn getting in? Let's talk to my wing. Sorry about this. For those of you at home, it's not that interesting to watch us do the setup, but once we get into. Uh, into the swing of things then um, this chat is much better as well they've really fixed the chat so you can you know you can um, you can um, tab around between the people who sent you messages hey he's in he's in Good Hello, can you hear me? 
Yeah, can you put your microphone on, um, not on constantly on though, because we're it's getting a lot of feedback. And I'm hearing... Settings, yeah. yeah, you want to be um, pushed to talk, ideally. Right, I'm going to go... I'm going to turn... I'm going to mute you for the moment. <laughs> You might have to just listen if you can't figure out, but at least you'll be able to hear um, the chat on the... You're um, permanently keyed up. Your microphone is permanently on currently, and I have put a headphone on now anyway as well, so Doris won't get confused. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Millstone, you can hear us though, right? So, um, I don't know what to suggest. I don't know what to suggest. So that's not good. That's not that's not good. Every time I speak, it's Every activating the, um, the, your microphone, the, Millstone. Microphone. <laughs> you can't see it, but, okay. He's typing now. I can hear him typing. You can speak. You can speak to us. Yes. Oh, right, okay. Speak. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, speak. I'm struggling to find the option to turn the... Um, is it in controls? Uh, if you go to... Hang on. If you go to settings and options... Yeah. You want to make your... Probably... Dun, 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 dun. Hot. I can't hot remember keys. where it is. is it yeah, controls? go to hotkeys. And maybe put push, make it a push to talk. So you have to push a button in order to speak, rather than it just being a sound activated thing. Because at the moment, every time I speak, it's activating your microphone. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, struggling to find it. Do you? Ah, oh. uh, sorry. I'm thinking in game. <laughs> Team speak, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team speak. Settings, options, hotkeys. Is it? Uh, okay, well, just talk. do this. Yeah, push. You want push to talk right, and make it a it. button. X52 button 39. Great. And now when I'm speaking, I don't hear myself on your microphone. Wonderful. Okay. So we are good to go. I'm keeping my microphone. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You're all good. So I'm keeping my microphone open um, on the channel yep, just good. so that you can hear me talking to the Twitchers as well. Um, do let me know if that becomes annoying for you. Um, and you want me to, because I'm obviously going to be shouting all of my battle commands as well. I'm going to be shouting at Doris quite a lot, so uh, let me know if that becomes annoying. Maybe maybe you don't need to hear everything that I'm saying. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, guys? Let's see how we get on. Okay, let's okay. see how we get on with Le it open. Steep learning curve at the moment. Cool. Okay. Right. Let's head over then. So what the the deal is basically what the best way that we've figured to work the um, um, to work the uh, the wings group in a combat situation is for to have, for one person to be your target picker. So you always have that one person um, who is selecting the targets, and then everybody targets on their target. Now, when you go into um, the setup, into your options um, and your controls. You need to go and set a hotkey for the wing, select wing targetman. So you go down to target, targets, and then you select a button to select your wingman. So one, two, and three, and then select wingman's target. Um, there's also wingman nav lock, and that I, I haven't got a hot button for that. I'm just doing that within the um, uh, within the panel because you do that when you first join uh, join up the group. So I've set up my buttons, and now um, when I press button one, 
my target switches to Scotty, who's number one in my ring wing at the moment. Button two switches to Psycho Cobalt. Button three switches to Millstone Barn. Um, and then if I go um, target wing, then I'm targeting whatever um, he's targeting. So that's button W, basically. Um, now, so if you ha I, I'll be the target selector again. Um, if that's okay with you guys, because I like being in control. Um, <laughs> so, um, our, and now, now what we need to do as well, so that when we're flying around super cruise, so that nobody gets left in space, um, you know, nobody gets sort of like interdicted and left alone, we daisy chain um, the nav lock. So when you're nav locked on some on on a commander in your wing, then it, if they jump out of hyperspace, you will jump with them in, in into ordinary space, which means if they get interdicted, um, you know, you'll get pulled in with them. So, Commander Scotty, if I if I nav lock on Scotty, so that's, I'm wing locked on Scotty. If Scotty wing locks on Psy Cobalt, Psy Cobalt wing locks on Millstone Barn, and Millstone Barn wing locks on me, then that creates a daisy chain effect that um, if one of us gets pulled out um, into uh, into um, you know gets interdicted or whatever, then we should all sort of daisy chain out into the same instance. That is the theory, anyway. I'm not sure it 100% works, but anyway. Um, retract hard points. I don't know why my weapons are out. Retract hard points. Did you kill him, or are we running away? We haven't even had a fight yet. Jesus. She's so demanding. Um, yes, Stuart 4G. Uh, we will sort out. So those of you who um, would like, we, we, we'll stick with this group for today um, and just show you how it works. And then in future weeks, what we'll do is we'll have a rotation um, of people that, that I wing with um, and come in to chat with. Um, so we'll talk about that on the forums after today. So um, I'm sorry for those of you who wanted to be in the wing today. Um, there are other days and there will be other wings. Uh, but you can wing with each other and, um, you know, go, go, go get them, tiger, basically, which is what I'm about to do. Um, so I'm going to head off to... Um, yep. Yeah. Millstone Barn, I think, is now fixed. All good to go. Good, okay. Well, let's head off then. We're going to head off to the conflict zone. So the, the, the deal with this particular... Um, uh, this particular mission that we're doing is we need to get into a conflict zone and we need to choose the side um, of um, the uh, Crimson State group uh, and then kill some Federals, basically. Um, yeah. So long and the short of it, basically. And we were doing quite well yesterday. Famous last words. But we, yeah, we were having a lot of fun. We were, we were, we were killing quite a lot of stuff, doing some pew pew. Why is my lines come back on? I don't like those. Um, I don't like having the uh, the orbit lines on. I don't know why they came on. I didn't turn them on. God damn it. Um, what's the difference to gaming with Ian? What's the difference between, uh, oh, no, yeah, what? <laughs> what's the difference between low and high intensity? Um, the difference is, um, the number of people that are fighting, basically. Uh, I believe the high intensity zones have got a lot more going on in them, uh, so, if you are feeling um, brave and um, frantic and a little bit crazy, then uh, you can head over to uh, high intensity. But we found yesterday there was plenty to kill in the low intensity zones. Um, the first thing we do when we get there, by the way, just so that you know Millstone Barn as well, before we pick sides, oh, I'm doing the loop of shame. <laughs> um, before we pick sides, oh, goodness me. Okay. Um, We'll head to the sun, so drop into the um, into the combat zone. We will head for the sun to get out of the melee because you you drop drop right. Uh oh, who are you being interdicted by, Scotty? Scotty, you all right? Yep, all good. Military interdiction. 
Okay. I guess they're looking for people carrying the military plans, aren't they? Because they're, they're, you get a, a really nasty f um, fine for, for carrying those. Yep. Fine them off, or trying to. So yeah. you can see as well, we can see on Scotty's um, wing indication, you can see how it's he's doing. Amazing. I'm going to yeah. submit. He's, he didn't, didn't do very well. Um, you're almost better off just um, with those na Navy dudes, just if you haven't got anything to hide, just um, just submit. You can be on your way a bit quicker. They seem to be pretty good at interdicting. Um, and me, but I'm legal. Okay, I'm going to drop then into here. Throw your beacon out and we'll drop on it. Yeah. So that's the other thing, if people haven't been able to, um, I'm going to head for the sun now, yep. get out of the centre. If if people haven't been able to, to sort of drop with you because they were too far away, then you can drop a beacon. Where is the sun? Somebody's stolen the sun. Ah, I'm with you, more out of luck than judgement. <laughs> nice. Scan detected. Uh, I'll drop a beacon. You can do that in contacts. No. Is it contacts? No, it's uh, up. Ah, it's in functions, that's right. Fourth one down. All these new things. Da, 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 da. Fourth one down. Beacon. Wing. So that now tells, that puts a, a marker out in uh, Super Cruise for um, where, uh, uh oh, Millstone Barn is, are you, with, are you with me here, Millstone Barn? Yes, I see you. So head to the sun, Millstone, um, and we'll get out of the, um, out of the way of the um, craziness before we pick a side. Who's that? There's somebody else from a real player that we know. In a third alliance, Shanerai. Hello. And who's that? Is that Millstone Barn engaging already? Oh, no, Commander Franton. Uh, Commander Franton's green to me, so he's already um, on the side. Target shields offline. He's already on our side. Okay, so. People have just gone purple. Does that mean? Who does that mean? Somebody go just got into trouble. One. Huh? Did you go for the high intensity? No, one? no, low intensity. I haven't picked a side yet, but I'm going to pick a side now because um, I'm far enough out, I think. So now we're out here. I need to choose faction, and we're going with the Crimson State Group because we are fighting against the Federals. And there, somebody's just dropped a load of proximity mines up there. Look at that big bloody mines, big flush of white up on the radar over there. So we need to watch out for those. That might make make it a bit unpleasant around here. Dropping on your beacon now. Okay, who have we got? Millstone, you in with us? Yeah, okay, so we're all here. I'm with you. So if you target on me then, guys, and um, pick, I'll pick the targets but as soon as Scotty gets here, then Scotty will rip their shields down, I will rip holes in their sides, and Millstone Barn, you can do whatever... I shall blast. I've got dual beams. Uh, pew pew. We'll so he's got a nice big fat gun on his vulture there. So it could be a good combo actually. And then every now and again we'll throw side cobalt at them just to uh, just to annoy them. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to be a service. <laughs> We're gonna have to get around those bloody mines to get into the fight though. Okay, on your wing now. You happy, Scotty? Yeah, I'm all good. Cool. Let's, oh, there's an anaconda. Let's have that one then. Oh, let's pick the easy ones first, right? <laughs> yeah, why not? Deploy hard Take points. No, that's it. We'll Targeting help you. your target. Full weapons. Okay. 6k away. I'm going to speed up. 
Full speed. Oh, who's sh shooting at me? Okay, it's coming into range. Engage. Engage. Engage now. Shield me. Shield me. Down. Chaff his face. Chaff first released. They're targeting his power plant. Fix the shields. Great. Now I know how R two D two feels. Behind him, so he's not quite <laughs> so intent on destroying me. There we are. Somebody else's turn. Hey, coming in now. Chaff his face. Chaff first released. Thirty-one percent. Into guns now. Oh. oh, no, you don't. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. He's gone. No, oh, I didn't get any. Um... Did you get anything for that? No. No, I didn't. Why didn't we get anything for that? I think someone else did more damage than us. <laughs> oh. I guess probably the whole whole of the crew were after him, weren't they? Look at that, there's nothing left. <laughs> What's going on? There's Come nothing, on there's nothing red there. on the radar. Oh, there we are. Okay. Okay, on your wing again. B2, formed up. Yep, we're all formed up. Another anaconda then, I guess. Got a target. Yeah, one ahead of me. Oh no, it's dropped. Hang on. Let's find something else. That Cobra Mark III, yeah? Um, no, hang on, I'm not. Federal dropship. Let's take that one. 5k away. Oh, uh, full speed. The dropship. Yeah. Gauging? Yeah. I think my mic sometimes turns off if I leave it open. Under attack. No, no problem. We can see what you're doing. Whoa, friendly fire. Watch out. No, we were too late to that fight as well. We might need to go for a high intensity zone, guys. Okay, on your wing again. There's not, not much. Yeah, a viper. Viper, he's gone. We are not getting. Oh, I gotta jump out. We're not getting any. Um... It's too busy, guys. We're not getting any. Um... Jumping out. I uh, friendly fired someone. We're not getting any. Um... Any cash for these kills? I think we have a big fleet of people. <laughs> There's too many people in here. There's too many real people competing. We 
We might have to go to the high intensity. These condors are made of paper. It's ridiculous, they just disappear. Uh, so the purple can is um, when I'm in a wing, if um, if uh, other players are dangerous to my one of my um, compadres, then those players go purple. So the reason everyone went purple uh, was because the reason. Ev why am I under attack now? The reason everyone went purple was because Scotty did some friendly fire, and they're still purple. So they are Back dangerous. Everyone's still purple though. Psycho Bolt, did you also do friendly fire? You look, you look, um, you look like you're being shot. Yeah. I'm gonna jump out again there. I'm going for the python here. Fix the shields. Great. Now I know how R2D2 feels. Target destroyed. Yeah, do you know what? I'm jump I'm gonna jump out. Jump out Millstone. We'll see if we can find somewhere else to go play, because this is this is ridiculous. Retract hard points. Do to try the Did you kill him? Or are we running away? Yeah, I think we're gonna to have to. There's just too many people here. I'm getting shot as I try and exit gracefully. Okay, I'm gonna knit back and get because I use loads of my um, shield um, there anyway. So I'm knit, get, gonna knit back to the station. Oh, you can't hear me. I don't have that on. I'm gonna knit back to the station and just recharge my uh, shield cell because I used okay. up quite a lot on that anaconda, annoyingly, and then didn't get any bloody money for it. I shall pull you. Oh, I'm being interdicted. No, no problem. I've got a lock on you. Navy, it's all right. I'm just okay. gonna yep, submit, submit and leave. Shields, shields, three on me, yes. Um, do you need help? No, 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 sorry, I'm reading I'm reading the chat. <laughs> oh. oh, my ear is getting painful from having this thing clamped to it. Could try the convoy. Yeah, what do you reckon? Maybe we should try the convoy. That's a good oh. idea. Okay, I'm going to charge up and then we'll head for the convoy. But uh, make sure you've got the mission for the um, where is it? Is it the one that you get from the other space station? Not Baladin, Balandin. No, I think it's from Baladin. There's a there's one there to smuggle military plans, I believe. Commander Jan, I am in my group play. I'm not in open play. It's my group. My group is like my group is busier than open play. <laughs> There are more people in my group than there are on the open play. So the mission for uh, the convoy is Operation Dullahan. You have to pick it up from Harvest, from uh, the Harvest Port, Hartsfield, Hartsfield Market. Sorry. Yeah, I thought so. You've got to get it. It's a Hartsfield one. It, Millstone, it did, have yeah. you have you got that um, mission? I, I don't think I have actually. Is it back at um, Baladin? No, Hartsfield. You nip, nip over to Hartsfield station and pick it up. Yeah, okay. We've all got it, I think. We picked it up last night, didn't we? Yep, that's right. Got all four. Yeah, I guess open play is even busier than uh, here. Yeah, Mad Talk is a... It's a breath of fume. It's true. Do you know what? My I've been watching quite a lot of um, Mad Dog's stream, which is awesome, by the way. You should watch it. He's a very funny man. Um, 
I've been watching quite a lot of his stream um, over the last uh, couple of weeks, and, and my internal monologue has started speaking to me in a Geordie accent. It's very bizarre. Why, I bet. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Okay, I can hear him screaming about my ridiculously awful um, attempt at <laughs> a Geordie accent. <laughs> oh well, there you go. Uh, oh, I better get some permission to land before I do. Thank you. There is no need to thank me. My programming is no need to thank me. My programming is no need to thank me. I would be a thousand light years from here. I would be a thousand light years from here. Ah, double. Double Doris. Don't let the airlock bang you in the butt on your way out. <laughs> Charming. What is wrong with her? I think she's been taking lessons from Derek. Jesus. <laughs> I'm fueling a rant for later on, XLG says. Yeah, I probably am. Bloody southerners trying to do northern accents. Why I? What do they think? Oh, look at all these spots open. <gasps> Flaps down. Flaps down. Landing gear deployed. Could could have been fast. <laughs> Just was not concentrating fully. Successful. Like a bit like a bit like last night, wasn't it, Scotty? Oh, I missed that. You weren't speaking there. What, what was happening? Last night. Um, oh yeah. Tell tell them what you saw last night. I saw many things, and most are unrepeatable. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen so many players in one area, though. Or NPCs oh. in one area. The whole place was a scanner full of squares, basically. How many do you reckon there were, Scotty? Well, it must have been like... It looked like about a hundred. At least a hundred. I can just say the instance was definitely full. That's all I can say. Yeah. I reckon. So it is the... Uh, is it the federal Fitchdale? Fitchdale, which, which is the, the 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 one military? Yeah, military intelligence. Yeah, federal Fitchdale. It's Operation Dullahan. Yeah, federal Fitchdale, Operation Dullahan. So what we're going to do now is, as you can see from that, people on uh, Twitch. Hi, <laughs> forgot you were there. Um, we are going to uh, head over to a convoy zone, uh, which has got the same rules as a conflict zone, uh, which means basically you can attack stuff and you don't get um, uh, fined for it. Um, and we are going to pick a side against the Federals, and then uh, should spawn a convoy of um, uh, basically a transporter, I think a Type 9 transporter, and um, his um, obviously wings, his his guard, and what we need to do is we need to explodify his cargo hatch, isn't it? Is that what you sent me the link to that, didn't you, Scotty, yesterday? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got it from uh, Commander Psychobot. Yeah, I think we're supposed to raid his cargo and then steal it and deliver it somewhere else. Raid yeah, his so cargo. We need, yeah, yeah go we on. need to team up with this one. It's quite tricky. So because there's going to be usually four anacondas or three anacondas, so we need people to take out the anacondas while somebody targets the, tar the cargo hatch on the Type 7. And that's going to spew out all these military intelligence plans and we've got to grab them really quickly and get out of there. But that's not where the problem the problem starts actually after that because then we've got to smuggle them in to Hartsfield Market again without getting caught so we can actually meet the, give the military intelligence plans to the agents who are working there. You sell them on the black market, don't you? That's right. Okay, so... The plan being then, um, and do we, we? So we're not taking out the anacondas completely. We're just keeping them busy whilst we right. skank the, the the plans. So then, make, what probably we need to do is probably the three big ships need to keep the um, the the anacondas busy. Whilst if you're up for it, Sai, you go in, take the uh, open I knew up the hatch, say that. I knew and you were uh, say that. do the scooping, right? Or yeah, do we I'm all do a bit of scooping? Okay. Um, well, let's give it a go. I'm, in my experience, the scooper usually is the person who gets blown up quickest. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? It sounds like a brilliant plan. Have you got insurance? Who needs that stuff? 
I've just uh, added a limpet hatch breaker to the asp, so I can, if you can bring the shields down, I can bolt his cargo hatch and ping it open. Good right. Idea. So that's what we need to do then. We need to. Um, so what? We, we need to bring the the, the, the type nines and shields down first. Yep. Bring the shields down, and I will fire limpets to release his cargo. Okay. Do we not want to try and take out the anacondas? Uh, I'm right behind you on that one. <laughs> okay, that might be smart as well. You know, it seems to me that the probably the objective is to to kill kill all their shit and then and then steal there. Yep. Uh, yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. That's Actually, having I mean, so many people on side might make it a lot easier. Yeah. So I reckon we with first, first strategy we ignore the the type nine and let's just let's just clean up the uh, the, yep. the 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 wing. And then, um, and then when he's sitting there defenceless and with no friends, uh, we'll open up his, uh, open up his hatch and uh, take what we want. And then nobody like needs to die. Right. Good. Okay. Famous last words. <laughs> Good afternoon, John. T John T. Shinerai. Um So hopefully this means as well that we'll be on our own in that instance, doesn't it? Or will we not? Will there be other people? So maybe other people can come and help us kill the anacondas and then we can all take the plans. If we have more than one wing, can we take more than one wing into into the instance? Yeah, absolutely. It's just, uh, you just form it's up It's just a group. regular instance, isn't it? Good, okay. Well, if anyone see. else in a wing wants to come and join us... <laughs> Actually, that's a probably a mistake, because now there's going to be like 50 people and there's going to be <laughs> nothing for us to do again. We're anyway. going to fight over one plan. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the, for the greater good. This is for the rebellion. For the rebellion. Yes, power to the people. Right, <laughs> okay, let's go to the convoy point then. So I've got Hartsfield and have signed up for community missions, but I don't recognise what you're describing at the moment in terms of it's, the mission. It's the military plan. It's called uh, Federal Fitch, Fidshell Operation Dullahan. All right, yeah, okay, I did that one. Thanks. So um, head out, head to the convoy uh, point, which is a, a, a navigation point on your on your map now. Flaps. Okay. It's done. That's weird. I got a, 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 a flaps recoil in <laughs> Millstone's uh, microphone was open at exactly the right time. Bit of a flaps recoil there. Does that mean we can control your ship remotely via TeamSpeak? <laughs> yeah, probably. We should does, do that, Scotty. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, sh I, I, have, I have the power to mute you. You know. Okay, we'll be if. <laughs> Right, so this is where we're going. Dun, 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 dun. Convoy beacon. Select block destination. Destination. Uh, Doris, shall we go? Doris, shall we go? Do I have a choice? Not really. Then that was a stupid question, wasn't it? <laughs> I suppose it was really. Um, yes, I know I could boost, but I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not really concentrating. We were much more impressive last night. And we had there was more to kill as well without everybody there. Uh, Commander Flynn, I personally. Commander Flynn saying, I personally could only play in open play. Space is barren and lonely enough as it is. Uh, White Ass M has sent a, a request to join the group. Right, hang on a second. Let me just uh, go into... Oh, no. Mac. Friends and group management. Your group. And... You three are in the club. Congratulations! You've won access to a mediocre group of <laughs> gaming <laughs> delight. Do with it what you will, as long as it is in good nature. Membership cards will be issued at the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who are you calling mediocre? <laughs> 
Oh, sorry. No, sorry. Um, rubbish. So is that better? <laughs> I think the word was <laughs> reprobate, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the convoy beacon. Shall I just stay in Super Cruise till you arrive? Uh, I just arrived, actually. I'm going too fast. I'm about to crash into it. Oh, just one moment. Just going to just do a quick loop the loop. <laughs> you drop, drop your nav beacon again, that'll help. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to pick a side until you guys are all there, because I'm not going to have... Because apparently the, the anacondas... Oh, bloody hell! I've gone too fast again. Apparently the anacondas spawn once you pick a side. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, no, I didn't. Didn't overshoot that time. <laughs> need to drive into the planet, but apart from that, everything okay. All present and correct and accounted for. Okay, I've dropped in. So yeah, I definitely think the order of the day is to um, kill the anacondas. Pew pew, right? None of this sneaking around, taking down shields and tickling the bellies and and running away with their plans stuffed down our trousers don't want any of that behavior from you boys okay straight up honest to goodness kill their asses yes boss roger that there's quite a few uh, quite a few um, real players in here as well uh, so I guess let's head for the sun and just Gather our thoughts. Gather our troop. Gather our thoughts. We are not going to be able to kill anything until such time as we choose a side anyway. Okay. I see millstones in here already. Come to me, millstone. I need to get a drink soon. Running out of fizzy water. There you go, 200k worth of combat bombs gone. Oh no, Stevie P, did you get splattered when you had lots to turn in? Who's that jostling my asp? Oh, we'll never get old. Was that you, Millstone? That was Commander Papa. Commander Papa? Did he just ram me on purpose? See, this is what happens in space with me. I get buzzed by, this is what happens in space for me, I get buzzed by people and um, sometimes, <laughs> they, they, sometimes they take a chunk of me with them, <laughs> which is uh, interesting. Okay, good, team is here, let us pick sides, so what we need to do is pick the um, faction, uh, go with Crimson State Group, and then we want to look for a... Lake on type 7, there we are. With anacondas. Assisted anacondas and they're F36. So that basically. Oh, somebody's shooting at you. Who's no, shooting? They started on us already. Right, okay. Federal dropships, uh by. Got it. Good, okay. You go bye-bye now. Oh, shield me. Shield me. Try and keep up, Doris. Fire. If you articulated clear and concise instructions, it would be possible to execute them with more accuracy. Not now, Doris. Yes, I can see your inferior human processing power is struggling to multitask. That's a pretty shot with the planet there. Why didn't you explode in front of the planet? You're selfish. I don't think so. Oh, no, you don't. Full speed. Boost. Yeah, okay. So we didn't get anything for that, but... Oh, hello. What's gone on? Why has everything gone red? 
All of the player characters have gone red as well. I think people have decided to come in here to try and... Um... Okay, I'm going to get the python. I'm going for the python. Who's shooting at me? Chaff his face. Chaff first released. Are you guys with me? Are you guys with me? Yep, we're on yep. that python now. Cool. Python, yeah? Fix the shields. Yep. Great. Now I know how should be to down use the shields. Hurry up, Doris! Shield me. Got my power distribution all squiffy. No wonder I was taking so much damage. So why have all those player characters gone red? Does that mean that they've jumped in here and they're on the Try side of the fence? Gone. Kinda of wondering that myself. Target destroyed. Okay, so now what's over there? That's the uh, condors over there. Where's the where's the Lake on Type 7 gone? Oh uh, type 9 gone. In that condor. Full speed. Yeah, it's the only player. Oh no, there's another one there as well, so I guess the Type 9 is around here somewhere. Under attack. Shield me. Those things are made of paper. That's ridiculous. Oh! We, got a bomb. we took one each there. Got a bomb for that one as well. Okay, Vulture. Who's ramming me? Oh, Python shooting at me. Let's go for the Python. This, this Python's on my ASP. Getting player attack now. Who? Under attack. Yep, I'm gonna have to jump out. Are you uh, friendly? Yep. Did you friendly fire? Yep, I gotta get out. Shield me. Back in a moment. Chaff his face. Chaff first release. We're shooting Crimson State Greece. <laughs> but we've cho we chose the ch Crimson State. We've chosen the Crimson State. Hey, apparently we're shooting Crimson State. Target destroyed. Okay, I'm very confused. Target shields offline. Target shields online. Back in again. Mmm. No, you see, this is. Do, do we, you, you know, do you know what? We've got this wrong, guys, because this is this is a federal mission. 
So is there a version of this mission that is non-fed? That isn't this one? Because are we've chosen... Right, yeah, this is a Federation mission. We need to get rid of this. Let's get out of here. This is the wrong mission entirely. Right. Retract hard points. Retract hard points. Did you kill him? Or are we running away? We are running away, is what we are doing. <laughs> oh, this Crimson State mission is hauling weapons. So this is it. Whoever said that, yeah, to do the convoy. We can't do the convoy. That was me, sorry. No, 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 no. We, I think several more people said as well in the channel um, that maybe go to the convoy, but we so we can't do the convoy because that is um, that's for the other side. That's for the feds. Otherwise, it's a um, it's a trade mission only, which isn't very interesting to watch, is it? So let's go to the high intensity zone. I think that's the, probably the best thing to do, and hopefully there'll be stuff there that we can kill that other people haven't already killed. That's the best thing. High intensity conflict zone. There's one right by us here, 174 light seconds away. Are you with me? Yep, locked. Defend the convoy. Yeah, no wonder, Commander Chan, no wonder the other players were were hostile. <laughs> I was being a traitor. Yeah, we're going to do the high intensity combat zone, um, Witas. And hopefully. There will be stuff that we can kill. Hopefully it is not going to be all taken already and killed by other people. Because I used a lot of ammunition on that anaconda. I'm very surprised we didn't get anything for the kill. It's probably because he's our mate. <laughs> no, no, not that one. The other one, oh, the one before one. in the conflict zone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't get anything for it either. Yeah, the one... We didn't kill any anacondas in there. We got a couple of pythons. This is probably why we don't have a lot of friends around here. <laughs> <laughs> Did wonder. <laughs> oh, we're nice people. We're helping you. No, we're not. No, we're, we're not. With, with friends like these. <laughs> hey, Psychobolt, if anyone asks, just tell them Commander Rose made us do it, right? No, wait. <laughs> Hang on. Orders. Hang on. Just following orders. Hang on a second. It's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I nearly drove into the planet. Is that another loop of shame? It's a loop of deliberate um, mechanics using the uh, atmosphere and um, gravity of the planet in order to slow down. Oh, Commander Solitaire is uh, apologising for the blatant attack on us earlier. <laughs> really? Apologies on... Well, maybe if you buy us chocolate, we will forgive you. I've, I've just completely... Okay, I may have just got out. Yep, going to drop on your wake any moment. XLG killed three anacondas in, <laughs> before we even got there. In the convoy zone. So, okay, we're right in the middle of the fight. Let's head out for the sun before we choose a side. If I can find the sun... I'm under attack, but it's probably just accidental currently. Uh, full speed. Full speed. Right, there it is. Right. Head for the sun. Wait till my mates are with me. Almost there. There's a lot of uh, proximity mines been dropped as well. <laughs> Commander Solidaire, you were red! We still require chocolate though, I'm afraid, for but to be fully forgiven. Regardless of whether or not we made ourselves red by picking the wrong side accidentally. <laughs> okay, let's pick the right side now, shall we? 
Crin's estate group. Our friends. We've got some, got some making up to do. Do you need a um, a beacon, Scotty? Uh, no, it should be all right. Yep, you're gonna land on your wake any minute. This planet's taking, slowing me right down. Yeah, the, the loop of shame is quite useful there, because I, mean, I got caught by the planet as well. Millstone Barn made it here ahead of us again. Look, there's a lot of... Pulled there's, out. There's a lot of green around here as well, not much red. I suppose we're not really, um, we're not in the thick of it just yet. Okay, I see you two just, or one of you, Psy Cobalt's just landed. Well, let me just check which side we're on this time. <laughs> the Crimson State. Definitely the Crimson State group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an Asp just here. Under attack. Oh, we're under attack. Who's attacking me? Python. I don't think you meant to shoot me. You're in the high intensity, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Target shields online. Target shields offline. I really want to... Should we go and shoot something while we wait for him? Yeah, no, keep going. I'll drop in yeah. and join in. There's a, that Federal Navy ship there is just begging to be the Python. 57%, his shields are almost back up. Yeah, I'm on him. Oh no, he's on me. Ow! Target shields online. Full weapons. Target shields offline. Comes the cavalry. Hey, we got one. Cool, that's better. <laughs> Finally. Right. Okay. So I'll pick out some targets then. Let's um. Oh, hello. That cobra's gonna go. Full weapons. Watch the friendly fire, guys. There's a lot of traffic around here. Well, this ain't busy, is it? <laughs> there's plenty. There's a cobra over here. There's plenty for us to... Oh, no. Oh, he's, al he's already dead, this one. Okay, let's head back in a bit and we'll see if we can get some more uh, red on the map. Bloody hell. There's not much red around, is there? There is not much red. Uh, there we are. There's got, lots now. Got a paper, paper aeroplane. Boom. How about that? What's that? Viper. Okay. Right on your wing now. Ooh. In that viper there. <laughs> Shield me! I nearly took it out with my nose cone. Yep, you yes. went in front of me. First reward. <laughs> you all went red. Wow. Was that me? Did Dump I go out. in front of you? Target destroyed. Everybody's purple again. Oh, that's okay. They've gone. They've gone back. Okay, I am going to see what. There's a cobra here. 
Apologies there, I accidentally hosed your asp. <laughs> I didn't feel a thing. Full weapons. Oh, oh okay, there you go. Oh, hang on. We've got friendly fire again. Who was that? Who turned the world purple? <laughs> I think Scotty did. I've got a viper in my sights. <laughs> Scotty's trigger happy. At full speed. Boost. I don't think so, mister. You'd be green again now, are you? Not yet. Oh, okay. Uh, no, we're still purple. Any, uh, either of you, other two, um, everything is red. Yep. I'm, I'm good. That'll be you then. <laughs> if everything, t if it, basically, if everything turns red for you, it means you friendly fired, and. Um, oh, is that right? Yeah. 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 You'll make everyone else go purple. Well, <laughs> just just purple at my end. Yeah. So you're okay. You, you didn't friendly fire. Psycho Bolt needs to jump out and in again. The reason they've gone purple for us is because they are now a threat to him, and he is in our team. So. Yep, jump out and just jump back in again. Let's, um, uh, some more reds. Some more, uh, we'll just keep going, right? <laughs> There's quite better. a lot of reds on I'm the map now. Under Where, uh, hang on, something's, shoot something's shooting at me. Oh, just totally pressed the wrong button. Wow, that's a mess. Yeah, Anaconda. Shield me. Okay, that Anaconda, yeah? Yeah. yeah let's take his shields off. Under attack. Target shields offline. They're switching to guns. Chaff his face. Chaff fart released. Oh, we didn't get anything for that though. No. Target hostile. Taking damage. Oh dear. That eagle's having a go. Target shields offline. I got him. Under attack. I'll make that eagle disappear. There we go. Nice. Okay. More death, more destruction. Kill. There you go. <laughs> that was my uh, that was my banshee cry for you there, dog. Federal dropship. A bit crap, really, wasn't it? I'm I'm shooting an anaconda at the moment, actually. Whoops. Some naughty player was trying to kill me then. Oh, someone's gone purple again. <laughs> yeah, that was me. That, that, that was wasn't me because I've not even got my. Stuff wasn't me. That's me. It's me. <laughs> I'll jump out. Okay. <laughs> Retract hard points. Retract hard points. Target destroyed. Did you kill him, or are we running away? Ah, interesting. Okay, so Max Sirisa is saying. Under attack. Hang on. <laughs> Max Ursa is saying, um, when you are fighting anacondas, you need to shoot the power plant. If someone else blows the power plant, it counts as their kill. Didn't know that. So, that's what we'll do. We will target power the power plant. Yep. Yeah. And then all your anacondas will be mine.
Jean Bellow, it's Bonkill Open Girl, not, not online right now, playing Craft the World. Really? What are you doing? What is, what is Craft the World? Don't you just making little pots and things out of pastry? Are you? What is, what is Craft the World? Oh, I need, helps if you have something targeted. Oh, I've got it targeted. What's going on? Being an idiot. Um, XLG saying thanks so much. I was getting all the kills until you said that. Yeah, and we were doing all the blooming unloading of our weaponry. Why am I going around in circles? Right. Anaconda there, expert. Right. Where are you guys? Okay, I've got that anaconda in my sights. Oh, he's already dead. Do you want me to pick the targets again? Do you want me to pick the targets again, guys, or yep. somebody else want to yeah, do that? Yeah, we're following you. Pick a target. On an eagle. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can find ourselves something big to shoot. Oh, no eagle, but we'll have him anyway. Under attack. Take your shields off. There we go. No, you don't. Okay, let's go back over. Python. Somebody friendly fire. That's me. I'm on. I'm going. No problem. The world went purple. We need something big, don't we? At uh, full speed. Full speed. Shanerai suggests, can the system activity be decided um, ahead of time and put somewhere where people can find out that information? You are, of course, assuming that I plan any part of my life <laughs> that happens at the weekend. I'm killing a viper, by the way, guys. Um, it's it's not fair on the viper though. Look at that. It's, it's all green. It's all green. Another viper. Shield's just down. No, I don't think so. It was shot my shooting. Mofo. Who'd gone purple again? The world gone to purple. Who's gone red? <laughs> Who's gone red? Which one of you three has got a red map? A, a map full of red? A radar full of red? 
Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Yep. Which one of you three has got a radar full of red? Not me. None. I'm all purple at the moment. I think it was me. I'm green. Ah, uh, okay, cool. I, I've had to jump out because uh, everybody went against me. Yeah. Two percent hole now. Friendly fire. You you friendly fired. Okay, we've got some red on the map finally. Look at that. Some like proper red. They're sending some uh, re reinforcements there. Well, let's go for a cobra. I quite like. Fancy. And they're in wings oh. as well, this lot. Oh, a wing of five, yeah, okay. Shield me. Target shields are flying. Gossie, you're getting um, hammered. Yep, yeah, just going to make a tactical uh, movement to the left here. Chaff his face. Chaff first. There's a wing of two pythons here, and they both decided I was the target. One. Okay, back in the fight. I'm still fighting the same cobra. Still fighting the same cobra. He's down to ten percent. Oops. Huh. Oh, I didn't get anything for him. I know. That's ridiculous. Okay. I'm what sure we, got? we did most of the damage there, Commander Rose. I'm sure we did as well. I'm not going to go for that paper aeroplane. Uh, 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 let's see. Let's go over here with a little less. Oh, well, let's take out the paper aeroplane anyway, just for the hell. Full speed. Viper. Full speed. I'm repaired, so heading back. Yeah, I'm on your shoulder now, psycho bolt. Full weapons. Shield me. Again, we didn't get. Doing an awful lot of fighting for no reward around these zero parts. Um, ah, the world is firing at that poor thing. Let's see. Did anyone see anything tasty? Cobra.
Anacondas, Maxura saying. Anacondas, pythons, dropships, clippers, and even asps are often easier to kill by aiming for the power plants. Great. If we could find one, we would put that into practice. Another viper. I think I'm the only one on this viper at the moment, so we might uh, we might actually get some money for it. Full speed. his way back I think oh who did that that's me I reckon you want to go back and refuel real yeah I might do that anyway um retract hard points retract hard points did you kill him or are we running away we are running away <laughs> Everything's firing at me now. It's okay, I've got you covered. I know it is. My thrusters have malfunctioned. Yep. Yeah, I'm right in the middle of his beam now. <laughs> You're okay. Uh, where do you want to go? Night dog. Um, I night might. Dog is the nearest. Well, to, to, if we hand in our um, if we hand in our um bonds, do we not need to go to um the station that gave us the the mission? Valentine. Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, don't. you're right. Yep. Is it one of you? No. That's navy. That's okay. I'm going to Ballandine um, yep. so I can hand him my bonds as well, just in case I. How much have we got? I mean, we've not got a lot, but. Ah! 37,000. Yep, 38,000. Better than a poke in the eye with a blunt stick. If modules damages, reboot your ship. Um, Murawaz, hello! My hands smell of bleach because I was doing my kitchen today. Ugh. Um. Python 1100 says, I'm a Python. <laughs> Good. I give a clearing that up. <laughs> Janerai, if modules damages reboot your ship. Doesn't it take a while for it to, to reboot though? I mean, when you're in sort of, um, you know, running away from somebody who's shooting at you, is it necessarily the best idea to uh, turn your systems off and on again at that moment? Yeah, Ma Malik Dahmer is saying reboot only if it's 0%. Hmm. Um, Tech Geek says, how do I check if I'm in the same instance as Kate's? Um, I think um, you <laughs> are eight pet. Getting a DM in Geordie. <laughs> Um, I think if you go up to the um, uh, up here and basically local if we're in the same um, area then I will be on that list there local to you um, but you should be able to see um, you know um, see me on the radar I'll be a square um, be a square basically a hollow square it's pretty much sums me up well my oh What's this? Federal ship, you're being interdicted. Military rules of engagement. Stupid. 
such a good navy. I've got nothing of interest to you. I don't even have any... I don't have anything. I like, look, literally. Empty. Uh, when do we get to Balandin Station? Ban Ban Balandin Station? I'm not going to do a loop of shame this time. Um, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to go and grab a drink. And um, the sun's almost gone. It's almost GNT o'clock. So there you go. Um, I will uh, grab a quick drink and then um, be back with you after. And, and may, maybe visit the bathroom too, if that would, uh, if that would be all right with you. If you can spare me a few minutes and then we'll go kill some more stuff smarty 901 hi nice ass but thank you very much does my ass look big in this the old ones are the good ones um it's a lock what does suddenly it's a lockdown what does that mean suddenly it's a lockdown I don't know, where did you see it? Ken Schmidt? Where did you see that? I have no idea what that means. In what context? If you were in prison and you heard it, it would probably mean it's time for you to go back to your cell and um, behave yourself. Right. Being very bold, going through the rings, flying flying through the rings to dock not a lockdown a lockdown I have no idea what you people are talking about in chat what are you saying it's all a bit of a mystery to me I'm gonna not try not to blow myself up parking in the space station again as I did uh, Doris Flaps. Doris Flaps. Flaps, Flaps, Flaps to you too. Where's my parking space? 41. 41, there. Should be there. Ah, you see? It was right under, oh, I know. It was right underneath me. Woof M D. What? <gasps> I'm looking at chat and stuff. What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Right, Nilstein. Woof M D. Alright, pet. Mad dog. M D, what do you mean M D? Mad dog's here. Ah, yes. That does not surprise me. Right, okay. So, I am going to, what I'm going to do then, um, wing, I'm gonna jump, um, I'm gonna <laughs> repair and reload, for starters. Turn in my uh, combat bonds, just in case. I uh, don't have anything else to turn in. Um, and um, I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to go grab a drink, go for a wee. And um, I saw you guys back here in... Um, where? Should, we, should I play you something? I'll play you something for five minutes whilst I'm uh, taking a wee break. A wee, literally, a wee break. Uh, it's probably not five minutes, actually. I'll just play you a three-minute thing. What should we play? What should we play? An audiobook sample. I will play you a sample of the book, of my book, when uh, Commander Angel Rose, um, chapter three. I have no, no idea what chapter three, what, what bit in chapter three is, but I'm gonna play it for you. Um, and it is, how long is it? It's um, some distance of time. I can't see. Anyway, I'm gonna play it for you and um, I will see you back here in about two or three minutes. A hopeless situation. Her mother would never understand her need for independence. 
to stand on her own two feet so that she could happily look her reflection in the eye each morning. How could she, when her own journey to adulthood had been entirely about finding a rich and powerful man to support her? I'm just going for a space as well, guys. Angel sank back into her chair and reached despondently for another drink that was about to go gliding by, courtesy of a serve bot. Her mother tutted loudly, but sensing a degree of victory, let it pass. Anyway, I might have the solution for you. Not that you'll be grateful enough to acknowledge my help. But there is an investor who may be interested in backing you. Angel's eyes narrowed suspiciously. Her mother's introductions typically concluded in an awkwardly declined proposal or an ill-advised attempt to cop a grope, which had once ended in a black eye and a narrowly avoided diplomatic incident. Actually, it's Captain Riley's contact. He knows someone looking to finance a gold run to LHS 3439. And when I told him about your financial predicament, he said he could get you a place on the fleet. It's a wonderful opportunity, isn't it, Michael? She nodded at the captain across the back of Angel's chair, urging him to step in with more details. Angel quivered with revulsion as she felt him rest his hand on the skin between her shoulder blades. So that was a very quick <laughs> 1 minute 28 seconds. That was an extremely quick little clip. Um, that was from my audio book. Um, it was produced by uh, Chris Jarvis, Radio uh, Theatre Workshop, and the music was produced um, and created um, by Alan Stroud, who's the author of Lave Revolution. And um, I voiced it. And um, you have bought it and enjoyed it apparently some of you have so thank you very much for that um and i hope you managed to enjoy that little snippet i did mute my lovely um commanders i'm unmuting you boys so if you are saying something you shouldn't be saying then um stop it right now oh psycho bolt has muted himself anyway um good okay what so i'm gonna have a quick chat whilst we wait and see i'm just gonna have a bit of a i've i haven't got any I don't know where I've put anything. It's all in boxes in the living room, so I have no idea um, what is going on. So I'm drinking a, a Glasgow whole stripper out of a pint glass at the moment. It's a cosmopolitan. Let's have a chat. Let's see what you're doing. Let's see what you're saying. So thank you very much, Maxura. I am going to... Um, Maxura also has a brilliant um, channel on um, Twitch, so... Um, and as you can see from the instructions that he's given me, Maxursa, sorry, M-A-X-U-R-S-A. -A. Um, he knows exactly uh, a lot more <laughs> than I do about everything, really. So um, if you want to, um, if you want to learn stuff, then I suggest you follow um, Maxursa's stream. Uh, and um, join him whenever he's streaming. If you want to learn stuff, also, um, Fiery Toad has a stream and he is very knowledgeable and intelligent. Um, if you want to laugh um, and send the children to bed because the language is not appropriate for youngsters, then um, you should, um, you should uh, pop along to Mad Dog Stream. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah. That's basically, and of course you're all here, so I don't need to tell you to go and listen to my stream, because you already are. <laughs> How many people? We've got 162 people in the channel at the moment. Go ask. And lots of people out, actually out. Oh, Crash Landing as well. Sorry, I forgot Crash. So Crash Landing. Crash, Crash is like, you know, he's the, he's like the god of the elite streaming from our little community. In fact, he got to play um, elite. He be beat up a battleship, uh, a capital ship on... Um, at the launch party on the big screen, so we got to see him do that, um, which was fun. So, XLG, what's what, what's X? What are you lolling about, XLG? What did I did I miss something? XLG's got a stream as well. He also knows lots of stuff, and he was killing all of the. Uh, he was getting all the Anaconda um, fees. Barry Carleon's got an amazing bot, and he's just wonderful. Anyway. Don't think he streams though. Shanerai, is it my full time ASP or did I just get it for today? Okay, so that's what I was going to do. Maybe, possibly. We've got an hour and ten minutes left on the stream. 
Shall I go and um, trade in my asp for a vulture and see how that compares as a fighty machine? What do we think? Ah, oh, Smarty901, getting impatient for the next book. Oh, thank you. We're hoping that negotiations are, are moving ahead with um, for... Uh, XLG doesn't stream. He wouldn't inflict himself on anyone else. Um, uh, yeah, Karash was nervous the night of the launch. I bet he was. I would be too. Gosh. Um, thank you, Smarty901. We are hoping there are... Um, there are actually some uh, developments, hopefully, in the pipeline um, about licenses. Whether or not we um, produce uh, sequels to our um, Elite Dangerous books really depends on whether or not um, a Frontier gives us a license, uh, a second affordable license. So, but I know that they're talking um, a, a about possibility of more books at um, Frontier. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, they will um, make them affordable and um, give one of the licenses to me because that would make me very happy indeed. Mm. Vulture all the way, Mad Dog says. No comparison. Okay, I'm going to head up. So, guys, I don't know if you want to go back to the combat zone and just do some pew-pew, but I'm going to go and... Oh, I wasn't speaking to them. Hello, team. Team, team speak, team, team speak, team... Hi, Hi Ready, up. come on up. Team oh. G2. Team G and T, exactly. Um, so I'm going to head over quickly to Shinratra Desra, which is only 25 light years away, and I'm going to s swap out my um, asp for a vulture, and then come back to the high intensity um, combat zone. We'll uh, follow you. Okay. In. So we go. do you guys want to go back and do some pew pew while I while I get my new, pick up my new ship? Yeah, we can do. Cool. Okay, I'll see you back here. I'll head for if you drop a mark a beacon when I'm heading back out, then um, then I'll be able to find you. So you go go find somewhere nice to do some pew pew. Okay. And um, I will. If you, um, um, go if you to mute us, then we won't be all over your Twitch stream. Yeah, Where's that's a that's a good idea. I'll do that. A good idea. So, muting one, muting two, muting three. So, and I'm going to turn myself off. I will. Um, I'll turn myself off here on the channel for you guys, but and I'll just. Um, I'll. I'll open the channel to you when I'm heading back in, so you know. Okay. Right. That's them put to sleep. They can no longer hear me. It's just you and me now. Just us. Um. I'm gonna go and pick up a vulture. And see how that goes. Hmm. Thank you very much, Toad, for um sharing that link my book. Barry's Bot also has links. This is my book. Elite Mostly Harmless. Um, it's quite violent uh, <laughs> in places. So, um, yes, if you have children. Uh, somebody sent me an email, uh, sent me a message on Twitter saying, I bought your book for my son's birthday. I was like, oh, oh no, it was, it was, it was at, um, I think it was at the launch party or something. Anyway, it was a guy, a, a, a fella who looked Flaps. It's done. <clears throat> it was a fellow who looked like he didn't, he wasn't old enough to have a teenage son, basically. Uh, and he said, oh, I bought your, your book for my son for his birthday. I was like, really? <laughs> Is that a good idea? Boost. Boost, Doris. Boost. Try and keep up. Scan detected. Frame shift drive charging. Um, hey Dirk Verbeek, gotta love these Sunday shenanigans. Thank you. Um, yeah. So I was like, oh. it's probably not very um child aligned. Uh, and he said, he said, I said, how old is your son? He said, he's like, I think he said he was like 25 or 26 or something. I was like, oh, okay, that's okay then does help if you um, choose a destination. Look at that! Ah, so I can see on that where my wings are and where my feathers are. That's new. That wasn't on before. So I can see. So all those green spots, that's where friends are. And when I do that, I can see Commander Pot is there. 
Commander Vapes a lot is there. Look at that. I didn't know that was there. Look, oh, oh. Ah, no, that's where I've got ships. That's good. It's red. I thought red bad. Commander Bum Titty Bum Bum is hanging out in Twix Six Lack. Um, don't know what's going on there, but Commander Bum Titty Bum Bum is into it up to his elbows. Um, Shinra. Uh, is that right? Yes! Wonderful. There we go. Oh, no. We can go for the fast route. Two jumps. It's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Off we go. Engage! Engage! Who do you think you are? Captain Picard? I fancy a joke, Doris. I fancy a joke, Doris. I fancy a joke, Doris. I fancy a joke. I fancy seeing you ejected into the vacuum of space without an EVA suit. And yet, here we are, both stuck in a cockpit together. Oh well. I'm exhausted. I could run several thousand volts through your chair to recharge you. I don't think I'd like that. It doesn't work that way for humans. I don't think it works that way for humans. I can't remember what she's supposed to say. Ah, you see? People saw themselves on my map. What's palindrome laughing at? Awful. Um, okay. That's oh no, it's not what we want to do. Uh, Jameson term. Uh, the reason I come to Jameson Memorial, those of you who don't know, um, as part of my Kickstarter, I uh, to write the book. Thank you for asking. To write, oh, ow. Oh, dead arm. <laughs> Why do they call it a funny bone? That's not funny at all, that really hurt. Um, the reason I've come to Jameson Memorial is because I, as part of my Kickstarter, that I had to buy the license to write the book, cost four and a half thousand pounds, my lovely Kickstarter followers who kickstarted me helped me pay for it making this story very long and complicated but it really doesn't have to be basically I got access to the Jameson Moore Memorial um, and you get this if you if you get to dangerous level on combat then you get access as well I think it's dangerous is it um, and my hands really smell of bleach um, and I get a, a discount on equipment it's high tech and I get a discount on equipment and ships I'm not responsible for anything Derek gets up to off stream. Derek, I reckon Derek and Doris have been hanging out. I reckon so. It's, um, yeah. Doris. The universe awaits your wisdom, Commander Rose. How are you, Doris? How are you? Well, I was enjoying a defrag. Now I am talking to you. So... The day is going downhill. Suit yourself. Okay, I'm going a bit too fast. Oh, use the planet to slow down. See? Gravity well. That is using physics to your advantage, people. Imaginary physics, but still, pretty powerful stuff. I had the, the best time at a festival um, year before last, and it was a new festival. Can't remember the name of the festival, and they hadn't set it out very, very kind of logically, very, very well. And so they had the um, the hot, hot tub area 
at the top of a hill and then the stage at the bottom of the hill and the hot tubs had this kind of like constant water flowing out of them, spilling out of them and no drainage and so basically the whole place was just <laughs> turned into a mud bath from the water just constantly going down the hill. It rained a lot that weekend as well. Um, and people were getting stuck trying to get back up the hill from the stage because the campsites were over the hill and beyond the, the hot tubs and people were getting people were getting stuck in their welly boots and they were just like you know stuck and I, and I spent a whole afternoon advising people on how best to use physics to their advantage to, um, to basically you need to turn and lift turn and lift break the, the hold turn and lift turn and lift and I got quite irate with all of these very stupid people who were standing there stuck in the mud, drunk and, and you know, just laughing and bimbling and being unable to, to, to pull themselves together going, physics! Physics! Turn and lift! Turn and lift! It's quite simple, people. There's no need to be stuck in the mud. Just apply a little bit of basic physics to the situation. Oh! Somebody's come a cropper in the airlock. Whoops. Um, oh, it's 14, not 41. Ah, there we are. Uh, Flaps, Doris. Flaps, Doris. Flaps just never gets old. I'm glad you think so. I think it's funny. Yes, obviously. Hilarious. Your parents must be very proud, Commander Rose. I don't think they are, actually. <laughs> My real parents are very proud, but Commander Angel Rose's parents, not so proud. Right, let's go buy a vulture. Going to have to sell. Oh. I'm going to have to sell this. So I need to, to strip it first, don't I? Because you, you lose a bit of um, money. So I need to go into outfitting first. <laughs> the straw is evading my mouth. I'm like, oh, uh. mm. voice attack is a skin. It's not in the game. Can anyone inform me? Is she talking to the game? That's talking back. Yeah. So soul, soul's edge. Basically, uh, voice attack is an independent piece of software. It's uh, I think you can download it free but then if you want to carry on using it or you want to have more than a certain number of, of profiles or something the, 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 it's not expensive and if you're going to use it then you should pay for it really that's I, what I believe I just sell some of this stuff while we're speaking and um, basically um, the the reason I'm doing this by the way is you lose um, a bit more if you sell um, it attached to your ship so you just off, just strip everything down here and then go and buy the ship that we want. Um, yeah, so basically, voice attack is a piece of software, you download it and then you can load profiles and there are people who've made profiles that already work with um, Elite Dangerous um, or you can make your own commands and it's basically just it's a voice activated and it, it, it can log keys, it can press keys for you. Um, and so a lot of, well all of the commands on Elite Dangerous can be set up to, can be bound to a key. So when you bind a command to a key, then you go into the, the um, voice attack software and you tell voice attack that on a particular instruction from you to first of all press that key and second of all um, you can add a, an audio response. Um, and you can you know, record your own and, and have them as mp3s or you can use the um, text-to-speech software, any text-to-speech software package um, which gives you a bit more flexibility. Um, Hazel uh, who is um, Fiery Toad's um, AI? Uh, he uses text to speech, so he can give her quite a lot of different. You know, he just has to type in something for her to say, and she says it. Whereas for Doris, and I think Derek as well. Derek is a recording, I believe, uh, which is um, uh, Mad Dog's um, uh, Dalek. So, um, can I sell any of these? Yep. Yeah. So. Um, that's basically that. Um, yeah, that's that's what you can do. Personalize it. 
have it do things and say things for you. And uh, the reason I've got mine um, as a, a bad-tempered uh, robot, which some people have said is like um, uh, uh, Marvin the Paranoid Android's um, little sister, is that's the character, one of the characters for my book uh, is an, uh, an AI or robot, a bot. Catching up. A mad dog says, Derek, yes, is a recording. Um, right, so let's buy. So the thing with Vulture, so my ASP obviously had um, uh, six six hard points, two medium hard points and four small hard points, which allowed me to put a, a fair array of uh, weaponry on. The Vulture, we will see, has only got... I'm going to have to... Yeah, product exchange for ship. Okay. Done. Um, the vultures only got two hard point, um, so you can only put two weapons on. But they are a large hard point, um, hard point mounting. So you can put two massive guns on there. So class three gimbaled pulse lasers is the recommendation from Mad Dog. The dog has told me what guns to put on my little ship. Go and go shoot some stuff. Guns are good, huh? Really should not do accents other than mine own. And possibly Geordie. No, that <laughs> didn't sound Geordie. That sounded Indian. I don't know. I learned to speak Geordie from Big Brother. Dear 45, the housemates have been stuck inside. So long, they've started to, their brains have started to dissolve. But they didn't take long because they didn't have any brains to begin with. Right, outfitting, moving swiftly on without. See, large hard points. Big gun. Going to buy a big gun. I'm going to buy a gimbaled gun Ging. pulse laser then because I guess that takes less of a gimbal pulse gimbal pulse gimbal pulse it's cheaper as well cheaper and takes less power there is some um, just mod by class uh, rating uh, descending class 3 no not Rating class descending that should bring the A3 class 3 pulse laser. There it is. There it is. That one, right? Class 3 pulse laser. Two of those puppies. Thank you for not saying Geordie Shaw. I've never watched Geordie Shaw actually. I don't, I'm not. Uh, I, do you know what? I, what? I used to watch Big Brother. I watched it from the very beginning when it was actually interesting and they had like some proper proper kind of like people on it and, and weirdos and it was it was a bit of a social experiment. But it's just, it's like, a, it is a pantomime now. It's just beyond ridiculous. They don't have any human beings on there anymore. I don't know what where they get them from, but they're not from this planet. Uh, and I have no interest in, 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 in finding out how these people live. Um, so, yes. Um, right, okay, let's go for, so that's the one I want, isn't it? The class three pulse laser. There is, or is there a better one? Is there a, a, oh, a, a3 maybe? No, so they're the only class threes. Is that the one I want? The E3?
fiery toad. Don't ask the lady her age. Somebody's asking my age. Um, I played the first elite when I was a teenager. That is all I need to say, I feel. Yep, the E3. Right, okay. So, two of those suckers. One. Bye. Bye. See? They're not expensive either. I'm going to have a lot of money left over. Might go shoe shopping or something. Do they sell shoes in this game? They should do. E3. Bye. Now, what we do need... Look out. See how big it is when it comes up. How big is it? I didn't watch the first one. Where is it? Oh. There. <laughs> That's a big gun. Okay. Who do you think you are? Captain Picard? I don't think P Captain Picard has ever said that's a big gun. I don't think he's ever said that. So I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I will get a shield booster. I'm going to get a shield booster for sure. What's the best shield booster I can get? Because shield booster makes you makes you uh, harder, right? Price ascending. Let's go for price ascending. Let's see what what's the best shield booster? No, module type. Shield booster. Go for a class A shield booster. We will go for a chaff launcher. Essential. Buy that back. Yep. Uh, we will go for. Point defense. Uh, mm, do I need a kill warrant scanner? Yeah, I should get a kill warrant scanner. I'm gonna be killing stuff. Definitely want a kill warrant scanner. And then I'll get a point defense as well, because point defense just does some pew pew on your behalf um, out of your rear end without you having to do anything to help it. So there you go. So, oh, I'm gonna put my livery on. I, I need to put. Um, I have lots of decals. Uh, this was a Kickstarter decal, um, the tiger. I'm going to go tigers. I had a choice. Oh, didn't mean to come out of that. I had a choice of uh, a certain designs that I could choose, and I cho chose the dagger. Hmm. Hmm. Graphics not loaded up yet. And I'll put the found... No, I'll just go tigers all around. So there we are. Look at me with my pack. Oh, I might, you know what? I might put the founder's world. Founder's world. On. I'm sorry, you don't need to see me decorating my ship, do you? Let's just... <laughs> I need to buy some other stuff now as well. Right, so I need... Let me just move my chat out of the way so I can see my load up. First of all, I need a decent frame shift drive for sure. I need to be able to... Um, Jump long distances. How I got 16 million. No drama. What have we got? 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 Oh, that's the best one, isn't it? So you can see on the right hand side, I'm, I'm looking at how things are changing. So if I buy that and I got 16 light years, I can jump. Uh, mm, I may just. Upgrade to reinforced alloys just in case. Not military. The military grades they very painfully expensive to um, if you it makes your insurance just ridiculous. Um, right, so I guess the first thing I should do is well is get a new uh, power plant. Currently, I only have eight watts of power available to me, so I should go for as much power as possible going to go with that upgrade. I've got loads of money so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Uh, uh. Have a quick look. Uh, power. You're know, saying to me, yes, I know, I know, I know. But I know I've got enough money to do everything. Thrusters. 
This will make us more um, sort of maneuverable in battle. I don't need really. I don't want to go too crazy. Maybe go for A4. 1.4. I'm probably not buying the perfect things. Check the rebuy cost, Kate. Yes, I realise. Let's have a look. How are we going for? See, so I'm still. I'm only 200,000 200, rebuy cost. It's fine. We've got a few more bits we need to get. Uh, sensors we don't need to worry about for now, I don't think, not, and just power distributor is always useful to upgrade because, uh, again, it will give you a better distribution of your power, obviously. Mm. Let's, let's see, I've got plenty available so am I going I'm going for something if you see the lighter I can get myself then the further I can jump d4 sensors I'm being told okay somebody tell me what power if I go for d4 sensors which power uh, distributor should I go for D5 thruster is better than the A4. D5 thruster is better than the A4. Okay, I'm placing those. Uh, which thrust? Which power distributor should I go for? Power just same as the power point. So A four. I'm learning loads. So match those up. Fuel tank capacity eight. Got the best one I can get there. Shield generator. See, I'm going to need a fuel scoop as well. Build generator. Module type. I'll get the best shield generator that I can. Here we are. With the A4 Vulture turns fine. Ah, oh, bye, Palindrome. See you next time. A5 distributor. Um, shield generator. Maybe B5? Shield Gen. B5? I can afford that. Getting a D5 shield, then two C shield boosters gives the stronger shield. A5 on shields. Okay. Oh, did I, I didn't do that, did I? Shield generator. Mine equipped. All the way down to the bottom. Scroll, baby, scroll. 
girl. A5. Bye. Out of a score of 10, what would you give Elite? I'm not going to bother with cargo right now because I'm not even interested in. I'll leave the dis discovery scanner as it is. I will bet buy a shield cell bank. I think that's the best one I can get, isn't it? And the other thing that there is in here is a reinforce whole reinforcement pack. Which I guess if I come into trouble may come in useful. Okay, it's probably not the ideal loadout, but it is a quick fix. Um, I've got a reasonable enough vessel and I can get back into the fray and see before we run out of time because it's already... What time is it? And I think uh, Mad Dog is uh, going to be uh, um, streaming after this. So I just need to set up my fire groups because I've got new weapons. Pulse lasers. Ah, okay. Pulse lasers are fine. Discovery scanner. Don't need that at the moment. Kill warrant scanner will be on the next one traffic launcher don't need that traffic launcher don't need that so basic discovery kind of, I'll put that on there um, okay wing I am heading off uh, from Sinatra Desra now hang on let me just unmute you whilst I am and still docked in Sinatra unmute one unmute two unmute three but so that Angel Rose, have you seen how she flies? What the hell was Oi. that? Oh, sorry, didn't hear that. Sorry, didn't know we were Steady. unmuted. <laughs> right, hang on, let me just get my chat back up as well. It's got to be the last thing you click that um, thing. Um, oh, what's that? So, how's my power distribution, by the way? Ah, oh, look at that. Yes, power distribution. Oh, I didn't even notice that. So turn fray shift drive to priority three and hatch offline. Yeah, cargo hatch offline, frame shift drive to priority. Oh, to priority three. Basic discovery scanner is priority two anyway. Okay, I'm going to turn off my kill warrant scanner for now because I'm not going to use it anyway, and I'll figure out how I uh, how I sort that out um, uh, later on. Um, uh, Marcus Corvo, good evening, Commander. He says, "Good evening to you too." Um, right, so I'm now. Oh, I didn't choose anywhere, did I? Where are we? Baladun. Where... <laughs> we just docked. We just had a fantastic sortie. Eh? Made about thirty-four thousand credits. Nice. all sorts of bad guys. Nice. Okay, so I'm heading back to Luge in my vulture. Flaps. It's done. Thank you. There is no need to thank me. My programming requires that I assist you. Otherwise, I would be a thousand light years from here. Doris Boost. Are you planning to do anything for yourself today? She's such a pleasure to work with. <laughs> Let's see what my new pew pew is like. Uh, we've got a half an hour left, pew pew, um, before we hand back over to the lovely mare dog, um, who is also going to be doing some pew pew, so I might actually hang around and pew pew with him. Um, and pew pew off camera, maybe, as well. So, I don't know, maybe, can I jump in your... Um, Maybe jump in your wing a little bit later, mad dog, if you don't mind. I live to serve. <laughs> Who rattled your cage? Doris, you getting jealous? Are you jealous? Are you jealous? You want to spend some time with Derek, do you? I think you might. Oh, we've lost Cy Cobalt from the, um, from the, the wing. Oh. oh, yeah. I shall, uh, see if he's still online. I'm oh, still online. What happened to you? Oh. 
Oh, it all crashed and died. That wasn't very good. Uh, Shinerai says, oh sorry, I'll turn my... Shinerai says, uh, got the prizes this week. And postcards. Brilliant. Thank you. I'm so glad. And I hope you, very much hope you enjoy them. Mad Dog will do a 50 minute rant first, says uh, Play P. About what? Not, not about my, ho hopefully not about my um, appalling Geordie accent. Where have you gone, Psycho Bolt? Uh, I don't know, it all just... <laughs> it was like someone switched off the power. I went, doo -doo -doo -doo. Everything just died. Oh, it, it, oh. Just on the game, though, or on your yeah, whole life? Yeah, crashed completely. Oh, okay. uh, so I'm logging back in. Just the game. Not your whole life. Oh, that's good. Um, so I'm all, I mean, I'm pretty much all tooled up and ready to go. Um, do, shall I come back to Ballandin Gateway, though? To rendezvous? Uh, or we can where, meet you in Super Cruise. We'll meet you in Super Cruise. We'll meet you in Super Cruise, okay. Are we heading for a high intensity uh, conflict zone? Yep. Yeah. I think we need to, don't we? We'll meet you near the high intensity zone. Uh, and XLG says to thank Scotty for sending lots of Vesperian Nectar stickers to him this week. Oh, good. Um, got them. Yes, and, and a, a few other people have said that as well. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Commander Scotty Scott um, was the maker of the bee honey. No, he didn't make it. He only gathered <laughs> it. His bees made it. He's a beekeeper. He keeps bees. He does. He's the bee's oh. knees. And he made um, some honey for, you know, he gathered some honey and we auctioned it for my charity stream. I'm um, covered in bees. He's covered in bees. I'm covered in bees. That is t a terrifying thought. You would be, the if you were covered in bees, you would literally be the most terrifying monster that is imaginable in my world. <laughs> I like Mad Dog's comment about war cries. I think we need to do a war cry as we charge in to battle. What, what would war cry? When you attack, you need to hear the war cry. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got a war cry. When I get Again. into the zone. Let's hear it. Release the hounds! <laughs> <laughs> but that's my that I've now that's my trigger for for uh, deploying my hard points. Release the hounds! No, that's it. Okay, I'm back in, guys. If you could, <laughs> we might need uh, to reinvite him to the wing. Yes, please. Mm. Do I need to do that? Because I started the wing, I guess. Um, I don't know, but yeah, probably the best idea. Keep it sensible. I don't know if it'll all split into two if we do weird stuff. This is your chance, though, Kit, to get rid of it. You could, you could, <laughs> you could get a new recruit. I don't see you in local, though. I don't see you on my local list. Oh, Are you not in yet? I You're am, not fully yeah. in. I am fully in, in Balland and Gateway. Um, I can see him. Let me... Shall I invite him? I'm yeah, if you that. can. I can see if that works. Yeah, I've got that. You see, that was your big chance though. You could have got rid of me. He's in. Mr. Junk says, must have really small hands to milk bees. <laughs> Mr. Junk, I think you need to uh, look at your education. And... Um, yep. Consider they're, whether or not it was worthwhile. They're all barcoded, mine. Your bees are barcoded? Yeah, you just bark, because they've all got stripes. So you just... <laughs> I've got some sheep you barcoded. There's Beryl, Belinda, Beverly. Beatrice. I'm going to go get a fill up whilst you guys are talking about your sheep. Um, uh, and I'm waiting for you in hyperspace. I'll be right back. Right. Let's... Get it together at the conflict zone high intensity. I'm gonna okay, hop there. Okay, I'll meet you there because I'm just uh, yep. <laughs> I'm a bit behind you. I'm not far away. And in fact, uh... oh, there is a Commander Angel Rose here in a vulture. Yep, you're gonna have hard point envy when you. And you've oh. just been interdicted. 
I have. Find the navy, it's alright, fine. Okay, I won't bother. They just uh, want to check out my weapons. Yeah, have a look at my nice shiny weapons. My gun's bigger than your gun. Oh, Millstone Barn is here. Looking at, oh, look, see? We've both got big guns. So you, Mr. Viper. Yeah, give me the Viper. It can go really fast, but I can't shoot very hard. Um, anyway. I have a large gun. I have two large guns. Lasers. Memes. So, what was the going rate for that vulture? I can't even remember how much was it. Four million or something? It was good. It was cheap. It was pretty cheap. I can't remember how much it was. I've got more money now than I went into the station with, basically. Considerably more. Yeah, how much are they now? I can't remember. I don't know. I didn't even look. They were. They changed the price, didn't they, on the latest um, latest update? It was good in the beta. Then we can't keep those prices. Yeah, they were a hundred credits, weren't they? <laughs> Okay, I'm going right. to jump into the conflict yeah. zone. Yeah, because I need to shoot something now. Let's I've got, do it. I've got big guns and and. Well, you must work out. <laughs> there Not we go. Those kinds of guns. I have big lasers. Okay, I'll put a beacon up if anyone. Anyone wants to needs a guidance. There we are. So you see that blue dot on the map has just come up because he's put a beacon, which shows me. State my allegiance, says Da Borsch. I will when I get in. When I get in? I can't state my allegiance before I'm even in the zone. In the zone. Psy Cobalt has already got red shields. Why is that? <laughs> Are you already causing trouble? I, in my rush to catch up with you, I tried to boost out the station. <gasps> uh, Having a bit of a parking problem. Well, to be fair, someone just brought a big Type 7 in without asking for docking permission, and they uh, were shot by the station services, so there's just rubbish everywhere. <gasps> That's hilarious. I would I never figured, do that. You know what? I'm going to give the guys a chance. I'm going to go in, half shields, what the hell. I actually, uh, um... Oh, okay, Cobra, I'm, I'm going to... Deploy hardpoints. Release the hounds! All right. Release the hounds! You, you want to pick a side? Not that it will help you. Yeah, pick a side. I need to shoot something with my gun. I'm going for the... One of you guys just pop a beacon so I get the right, right, right one. Yep. Beacon up. It's the high intensity. I got it. Okay, on your oh, target. Full weapons. Shield me. Oh, someone hit him. Yeah, Ouch. I didn't. We didn't get anything for that. Target shields offline. Target shields online. What have we got? I didn't hear the war cries, guys. Release, Release the, the hounds. hounds. Release, release no, the oh no, she's gonna undeploy me now. <laughs> release the hounds! Release the hounds! Oop. Not that it will help you. It's a rather large ship coasting through my vision. So, how's that going with that? Oof! Full weapons. What's your battle cry then, guys? Scotty, what's your battle cry? Um. <laughs> um, is that well, it? Well, 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 that's very scary, isn't um, it? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, sorry. Mine's gonna be busy. Banzai! My battle cry is. Target destroyed. 
Take no prisoners! Take no prisoners! Take no prisoners. Anaconda! Ooh. Where's the power? Power supply. Power plant. Haha. <laughs> yep. Sub target. Full speed. Previous fire group. Power plant target. Previous fire group. Shield's going down. Shield me. Shields are Fix off. the shields. Great. Now I know how R2D2 feels. Right. Open the season. Chaff his face. Chaff fart released. Twenty-two percent on the power plant. Fourteen percent. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, these guns That's are bomb. Nice. He's dead. Go for it. Cool. Yeehaw. Uh, fix the shields. Somebody's firing at me. Target hostile. Taking damage. Oh dear. Fix the shields. Great. Now I know how R two D two feels. There's a viper. Yeah, I'm on him. Shield me. Chaff his face. Chaff fart released. Under attack. My war cry is going to be flaps. <laughs> you can't use that. I've got that copyrighted. There's only one person I'm happy talking about my flaps and that's Derek. <laughs> the Dalek. There we go, he's gone. I'm still getting shot. You can relax that, now, guys. Viper, There's someone else to die. I'm here to be the victim. I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, I'm just getting out of the fray a little bit, so I don't need to use another shell. So. Barry Carleon's bot is talking about my flaps now. So that guy's flashing. Does that mean that's who's firing at me? Someone is still firing at me. Who is it? Target hostile. Taking damage. Oh dear. No, you see that's targeting the proximity mine. Why are you doing that? Stupid woman. This is the it's the con it's a bloody paper aeroplane. Shield me. I can't believe that paper aeroplane was shh. Jesus. That would have been embarrassing. Imagine going down to a bloody condor. I'm just going to stay here and let my shields recover because I've. Target How are you guys getting on? All good. A little charge up myself. This viper's quite good. <laughs> Not bad. Do you need a hand with the viper? Uh, no, I think he's just about to die. Oh, love and brandy. Cheers, everyone. There we go. Okay, let's... Thanks very much, Bill Stone. There's a viper there. Let's take him out. Okay, 
Going your target. Chaff his face. Chaff first released. No, you don't. No, no. Nobody gets away. Full from speed. Us. He's gone. Cool. Okay, yeah, I like my big gun, actually. I do like my big gun. There's an eagle there. Let's see how quickly he goes under my gun. <laughs> Euphemism opportunities abound. There's an anaconda expert. Where? Oh, okay. On my target. Got it. Okay. Yep, target the power plant. Target power plant. There needs to be a hotkey for that. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Got it. Take my shields off for you. Somebody's turned things purple. Okay, coming in hot. Full speed. Boost. Shield me. Under attack. Chaff his face. Chaff first released. Have I um, gone red on everyone? Uh, everything's gone purple. Uh, someone's gone purple somewhere. Yeah, I think it's me. I'm just going to finish this guy and then I'm out of here. They don't like it when you start firing at their power plant, do they? Sixteen percent. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish it and then I'll jump out. Ah, uh, we didn't get him. Okay. See you later. I'll uh, sort out that friendly fire. Someone else got the kill on that one. I've got a viper has been on my tail, so I'm gonna take him out. Taking out the viper. Oh, I lost my shields. Okay. Dropping back in. Who's on? Are you on the same target as me? <coughs> Sorry? Yeah, I am. I just lost my shields. Coming back in now. Target shields offline. Full weapons. Shield me. I need to get out of here. There's Full speed. somebody just got me. Uh, the world isn't purple. No, no, I don't know. I just got some intensive um, fire on me. There's uh, ten right. shields out. We've got a player there as well. Oh, he's just jumped out. Dark there we go. Destroyed. Oh, you're getting hit from a couple there. Right, coming over. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, you got you got a viper. There's an eagle right behind you. I'm just gonna sort him out. There we go. He's gone. Nice, good work. Yeah, you had two on you there. I think they were part of a wing. You got the other eagle here. I think they are intimidated by my uh, my cannons. I've got a target up here. Federal Navy Viper. Now why isn't my target wingman buttons? Target wingman's wing. Target wing. So it's confusing now because 
Angel Rose is targeting Psychobolt, who's targeting me, and I'm targeting Agent Rose, and I'm picking his tar target. <laughs> We're going around in circles. Okay, I've got, I've got, I've got <laughs> I've his got target now. Yeah, okay, got it. Yeah, I've got his uh, Viper now. The Viper now, isn't it? Hey, he's he's going to be dead by the time I get there. For some reason, my boost. Boost. Okay, and. I'm going to be late to this fight. Not quite in range. Four weapons. Four weapons. In range now. There we go. Target destroyed. Look at that, there's no red left on the yeah. screen. Did you get any money for that one? No. No, I didn't get any. I did turn up late to that one. Okay. Let's head back towards the conflict zone. Hi, kitty. Okay, you have a big yellow asp on your asp. <laughs> Me? No, I do. I'm following the vulture. Tia! Hello. You wanna come up? Come on, bum cuddle. Right. Let's see if we can find something to kill in the last 15 minutes of our stream. We've got a viper. We've got that viper you've targeted, yeah. Yeah. Come on then. Good girl. Full speed. Good girl. My cat's just jumped up behind me. It's giving me a bum cuddle. Good girl, Tia. Four weapons. Three of us all on it. I think we're all targeting the same guy. Well, this is what teamwork's about. Yeah. Release the bees! Release the bees! <laughs> Release the bees! That's my war Cap cry. Boom! Target destroyed. Okay. Got a. Oh, a paper plane. Hardly worth it. I'm gonna but... race you to that condor. He's in a wing of two. Full speed. Boost. We're all on the same guy. <laughs> He's not gonna last a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't last a minute if only one of us was firing at yeah, him. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone off. Mine, 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 mine. Who's gonna get the ground to? Oh, not us. Anyway. Yes, oh. I got it. Did you? Because 666 creds, we shared it. Yeah, I think it was hardly worth it. Oh, no. <laughs> it Eagle? Nothing. Oh, hang on, what's that? There's a. Under attack. That. 60 credits. That cobra is uh, firing at me. No, you don't. No, you don't. No. Didn't get well done, for that, shooting. We're all targeting the same one, so they go down very quickly. Yeah, this is how Good. it should be. We're That's working like a team do. now. Oh, dropship. He's in wing of three, so yeah. be careful. Right. I shall target his... Uh... I'm going to go do the bait thing. I'll draw them out. Come on. I got his power plant in my sights. Uh, ah! You got a bit close to him, did you? Shield yeah, me. That worked okay. too well. Right, shield's coming off now. Here Shield we go. me. Full speed. Shield should come off. Boost. Yeah. Alright, shields are off. Now you can do it. Shield me. Oh, somebody's <sighs> turned it purple. Oh, someone's gone purple. Full weapons. Has anyone got a screen full of red? No, I'm purple. Yeah, I have. Is that me, is it? Yeah. Power plant is gone. Right, okay, I'll get out of here. 
Oh, we didn't get it. I think that's... Dang. You know, when it's busy like this, you're almost better off going for the, um, just going for the little ones, picking them off. Because we're putting a lot of firepower and time into the, uh, the big targets and we're not, we're seldom actually, um, earning anything from it. Could you hear me then when I said that, guys? No. Ah. I was saying, I wonder if it's... When it's so busy like this, it may even be worth not going for the large... Um, no. Large targets. And just... Because we're getting more... We're actually getting some credits for um, picking off the little ones. But when everyone is fighting up for the same targets... We've got a condor boost. Gonna have to get out of the fight for a bit. Full speed. How are we doing for time? So we've got eight minutes left. Cool. So what I might do is have one more decent fight. Another condor, but I'm just going to pick him up anyway. Um, is head back to um, the station. There's a cobra coming out to chase me. I'm getting him for you. Oh, thank you. He's got no shields either, but that's because I ripped them off. <laughs> nice one. Target shields. Well, there's another. F I should buy that man at Love and Brandy for that. Okay, listen, guys, we've got seven minutes left on my stream. So, what I might do is I might duck out now um, and um, bid you all farewell and uh, bon chance. And thank you very much for fighting with me on my stream today. I'll head back to the station and just say my goodbyes. Um, and then I'm going to go and grab a, a bite to eat. Um, and then before I jump back on, and hopefully um, my dog will still be uh, playing. And I will um, see if I can see if I can hook up with him on uh, uh, and, and not not be on camera, which would be kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you so much, guys. Really, I think hopefully it's been useful to everybody at home, seeing um, or everybody watching on the stream, seeing how we've worked our own particular. Uh, brand of streaming um, and winging um, and it was a pleasure as ever fighting with you and I shall see you guys a little bit later on thanks a lot Commander. can I just thank you for the opportunity to wing with you oh it's an absolute pleasure and thank you for joining us um, cool I'm gonna jump out then and um, I will um, when I get back to base I'll drop the wing and um, say goodbye to the twitchers uh, Retract hard points. Did you kill him, or are we running away? I pulverized him. I pulverized him. Really? Did you really? Or was it a lucky shot? Four, three, two. Some of it was luck. Engage. Some of it was skill. Mostly it was down to the fact I've got a really big weapon, <laughs> to be fair. Pew, pew. Maximum pew. Oh, I don't even know. Just kept so excited about my weapon. Don't even know what I'm buttons I'm pressing anymore. Um, I hope that was useful. Was it useful? Have you seen how how to do it? How not to do it? Um, you've seen the different styles. So okay. So which do I prefer? The um, the asp with its multiple array of weaponry. Um, that, that, that makes a lot of noise and is very satisfying or the pew pew of the two big guns um, on the lasers that um, clearly do a lot of damage um, uh oh Sai has been interdicted uh, I'm not helping you though you're on your own I'm on my way back to base which do I prefer? do you know the jury's out at the moment I think I need to have a bit more of a play um, you know, uh, on my own and in my own environment, so I can actually you know, directly measure. It's difficult to know how much damage you're doing when everybody you target uh, in combat 
has got like 20 other people firing at them as well it's kind of mm. on the surface of it right now my, I'm feeling like I'm leaning towards the ass but, but that's just because the, the kind of like the the visceral satisfaction of having um, you know six weapons going um, there's a lot to be said for that um, but when I actually get to see how much damage those two weapons on their own are doing um, in a sort of slightly less hectic um, combat scenario then um, or slightly less competitive combat scenario then I, I may um, I may change my judgment so judgment reserved until such time as proper peer reserved uh, peer reserved peer reviewed testing um, can be carried out I shall be writing a paper on the subject uh, I shall probably use it as a basis for my thesis on my degree on how to get away with playing video games and calling it work I've been working on this this uh, particular degree course for about 25 years now and I feel I'm close to close to perfecting it <laughs> nobody saw that did they? you didn't see that no not at all not at all um, <laughs> Stuart Ford you still loves his cobra yeah do you know what I love my cobra as well but I did sell my cobra to buy a bigger gun off of my asp so in the end the asp won at the day um, but we'll see what is nice about my vulture is my bank balance that's a lot friendlier um, much cheaper much I need to sort out my power I realize that not sure how I'll do that I'll probably head back over to um, look at that shadow oh look at that see I haven't really had a look around my cockpit look, oh number four number four what number four why is my ship number four uh, Mr. Junk's Kate Click's machine gun noise sold it for me. Yeah, I know. The machine guns sound awesome, don't they? The, 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 um... I like them. These pew-pews, maybe I should get one of each. Maybe I should swap one of my, um, pulse lasers for a, um... Oh, retreat! Retreat! Uh, yeah, maybe I should get another different type of gun on the other one. Hmm, interesting conception. Conception? <laughs> no conception going on right now. Not right here, not right now. Definitely not. Definitely not on camera. Not on the internet. Um, flaps! Flaps! User left, <laughs> User left my channel. Well, maybe that's because I've got the channel speaker turned on and I just yelled flaps very loudly at them. <laughs> uh, oh, do you know what? My ear is hurting. Oh, I've got a hot ear. I'm glad to, glad to be rid of you, to be honest. I need to get some decent headphones. If anyone's, ooh, if anyone's got any suggestions for a decent um, set of headphones that do not completely... I've got decent headphones, but they're noise-cancelling kind of... And, and, that, and that for like gaming is too too in, intense um, in-ear headphones don't stay in my ears I don't know why they call them in-ear headphones they should be called fall out of ear headphones and um, and if, if I just have it on speakers Doris gets very confused and the opportunity is for my wingmen to start yelling commands randomly at Doris and she will carry them out and, and, and put me in danger. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching and spending the last three hours with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so, 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 so much to my wonderful mods, to Barry Carleon and his bot. Love Barry's bot. Fiery Toad, everybody else who are regulars and newcomers for just being generally all round nice people and coming and doing some pew pew and having some fun. Um, I love you guys. I might be the uh, whole strippers talking though. Um, I'm gonna go and have some food and everybody go watch Mad Dog now. He's really funny. And I'll see you guys uh, next Sunday, I believe. <laughs>